What's up, everybody? From is here with another episode of Magic Duels. Uh, probably the last episode ever. I am so sick of this game. It's awful. I hate it. Uh, I'm just completely done. I, I I keep trying to play my Red Deck Wins deck, and people keep playing Life Gain and those shitty one drops, and I'm just totally finished. Uh, that's a lie. April Fools. I'm I'm totally I'm not going anywhere. Um, we are, we are, uh, alright, so, uh, news, news time, so slight news time, we've, um, by the way, this episode, brought to you by, uh, bro, you know, you've been on my channel for, like, years, and I don't, uh, it's not years, because my channel isn't years old, but, I want to call you Sergeant Wadit, but it's not right, because there's no T in the right place, so it's S-G-W-A-T-Y-T, -T. uh, you know who you are channel this episode at least brought to you definitely by him he got in contact with me and i was like yo where's the video asshole you son of a bitch and i was like oh and i started crying and after i had my cry i uh, i came back and i and i'm and i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna do one video what happened i did actually make my like typical three videos uh for my week on monday and then as i was trying to post them i noticed that there was like massive stuttering in them and it was just disgusting and i couldn't actually edit it out it was just ruined, so I was like, oh, fuck it, and I was demotivated, and I just ignored the rest of the week, and I was like, eh, what's another week? Screw it. But he got in contact with me, uh, let me know about a few things, and I am now back in the game. By the way, see my mouse? Yeah, that's a mouse. Not an Xbox controller. Sorry, bro. <laughs> PC Master Race. Uh, but I did have actually something interesting to do. I just made this literally last night. Um, news time. Guys, did you realize that in the expansion that's coming, what, the 6th, I think? I'm not sure, but uh, some, sometime soon this month, um, they're changing the starter box. Like, all these cards that we, we, we have for free, the normal things, uh, not all of them, but a bunch of them, are totally going to change. Not totally going to change. That's, that's fibs. I'm making fibs now, you guys. Just this little box, that's the starter box. And several of these cards are going away forever, such as Divine Favor, that's going away forever. Angelic Edict, that's going away forever. We've got a whole list of cards that are just going to disappear. No blue cards, uh, ironically. You know what's weird, though? You know what's really weird? This guy's going away forever. Why the hell is this guy going away? He's a 4-3 for 5. I mean, yeah, he's an unplayable garbage, but <laughs> it's like, I don't know. He's out. He's just out. And, uh, of course, my absolute favorite card... Uh, all the guild gates, all those guild gates, they're gone. They're just going to go. Uh, Perilous Mirror, my poor little bastard right here, he's gone too. He, they said he was too powerful. They're replacing him with a shitty 2-1-for-2. Uh, two, for two. Awful. Um, but if you want the uh, full list, it's, it's somewhere. It's somewhere on the internet. Or or we can we can just, uh, you know, play with each other. <laughs> I don't want... I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, we can... Um, you can look right here. All these cards... I'm I'm sending these guys away. Name of the deck: Sayonara Sucker. Sayonara Sucker. Obviously, the basic lands are staying. That's that's no no shit. Uh, I am playing. Obviously, Evolving Wilds is also staying. I guess that's not obvious, but but Evolving Wilds is staying, and these basic lands are staying. All these guild gates are gonna go. I'm only playing the relevant ones. I'm not gonna play every freaking guild gate. Uh, this guy is going. Uh, don't ask me why. I don't know. Mulvani Acid Moss. It's gone, dude. I'm playing a play set of that. Legend, uh, Jagged Scar Archers, they're gone. I'm playing all of them. Uh, Gate Creeper Vine, uh, since there's aren't there aren't going to be any gates, so they switched this out with a 1-1 one, one for 2, which does the exact same thing. It's just not a defender, which is super nice. I prefer that. All these cards, every single one of these, except for, the, except for these, uh, they're gone. They're out of here. So we, today, are going to send them off in this amalgam of a garbage deck, and we're going to play it, and we're going to have fun. Because this is a card, this is a deck that you will not be able to play unless you do it within like a few days, within the week of seeing this video. If it's not then, if, the, if you're in the future and you're watching back, I'm sorry, bro. We used to play with these cards and they were ass. <laughs> but you know, I mean, some of these cards are getting kicked out because they're too powerful. Uh, Wizards was like, or I don't know if it was Wizards, Wizards slash Stainless was like, yeah, Foundry Street Denizen was a little too aggro. Perilous Mirror was a little too powerful. Uh, Mulvani Acid Moss was just too nasty. We didn't like it, so we're getting rid of them and, and replacing them with uh, more vanilla cards. But if they were too powerful, then that would mean 
that a deck built entirely of these two powerful cards would be unstoppable. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to kick ass, chew bubblegum, chew ass and kick bubblegum uh, on this asshole. Okay, great. Well, whatever. Um, it's going to be awesome. It, it, we're going we're gonna to destroy people. And I'm going to have a blast doing it. I just made this deck, like, literally last night, probably at, bleh, I'm going to say 2 a.m. Blasto! <laughs> I don't know why, that reminds me, there was a character in uh, Fallout, eh, I want to say New Vegas, that was called Fisto. And Blasto reminds me of Fisto. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I mean, I guess I start with a slow land. Uh, green is looking all right. I'm not sure when I'm ever going to get this guy out. Uh... Gate Creeper Vine's probably going to get me a black gate, probably black, and uh, I don't need more green. Screw it, I'll get... Oh, man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting. What kind of a deck is this? No, 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 no. I'm an OP deck. I'm an OP deck. You know, he shouldn't have cracked that Evolving Wilds, because what he gets might change what I want to get. All right, he's doing blue, which has a lot of flyers, so that doesn't mean jack shit to me. Let's just grab a swamp. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck the world. I didn't actually need to get a swamp. I could have grabbed a gate, which I should have done. I should have grabbed a gate. But I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh well. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'll just gate creeper vine again. Because I don't really have any good three drops other than Jagged Scar. Eh, do I want to drop him? I mean, that's really the only way I'm going to win, isn't it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Unless I get a land here. No, I don't. I mean a fast land. Alright, no. Jagged Scar, you're in, bro. Now, this person's like swamp all right so we're like <laughs> white black green elves with gate creeper vines this guy's gonna be so confused of course i'm kind of confused with what he's drawn running too like i'm not actually sure what the hell's going on across my pond over here hey look another guild gate nice oh no i should have put see i've never actually played this this card before like this card is not in any of my decks. Maybe I made one elf deck a thousand years ago and I threw him in there. I should have put this in there. That would have been another damage. Oh, that's so bad. So bad. I want to say this guy's like artifacts or something, but he's not like doing that. What is he doing? Like artifacts is way more aggressive than that. Rising Miasma. Well, that sucks. <laughs> there you go, dude. You got me. <laughs> not a lot of people play that. Uh, definitely prefer, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Definitely prefer the minus four, Languish, Languish, right. I guess Rising Miasma is a little bit easier to play in, um, in, uh, multicolor decks. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah, it is, and I mean, if you ever do eventually get that Awaken, that's pretty crazy, but... Otherwise, it's just minus two, minus two, which isn't that good for four. For the same amount, if I'm playing black, I might as well get a Languish. I mean, he could have paid for Languish with what he has on the board. I don't know. I mean, you know, it works out for him. I'm just surprised because most people don't play that spell. So that kind of tells me that he's definitely looking for some kind of Awakened thing. But then he's not playing, like, green-red. So what? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe he's got some, like, special little homebrew going on. I mean, I guess we're all playing homebrew since there's no real, like, <laughs> meta, meta, meta thing where we can, like, look up and just, you know, net deck. Oh, I should have paid attention to what he picked up. Uh, then I could, like, Acid Moss or something. But I think I'm just going to swing in for two, see what he does about that. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm actually... I mean, I know the right play might be to drop my Dredge Reaver. But I'm actually going to Acid Moss instead. Alright, he's got one source of blue, two source of blue-black, one source of blue. Alright, I'm getting rid of that. Because he's a little low on white. And, yeah, I mean, I have to get a forest, don't I? That's fucking fantasticals. He's a little low on white. So let's pop out those whites. I guess I could have also taken out the black to turn... Well, no, no, I did take out a black because he had three blacks. Yeah, so never mind. Yeah, no, I, I, I like. I think I picked the right one. I think I picked the right land to kill. Oh, Acid Moss, we're all going to miss you, man. That's so sad that you're going away and you're not going to ruin everybody's day. This guy has not been doing anything. He has been digging, so he's looking for his win cons. 
He's got Converge, which makes sense because he's got a bunch of different colors. Rising Miasma still confuses me. He, Artificer's Epiphany makes sense because he's running the uh, vials. He just wiped my board, didn't he? No, he didn't. What the hell did I... What? What? Wait, what? Why did that suddenly go on the top? Oh, did he just dump it? Oh, he just dumped it. Oh, I see. He has too many cards in hand. <laughs> I get it. I get what's going on. I understand now. Um, before I put down this big guy, I want to put down... I mean, he's only a 4-3. He's not even really a big guy. I want to, um... I want to crash in with a 3-4. See what he does about this. We're both playing interesting decks. I'm sure his is significantly better than mine, though. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. What the hell am I talking about? I got I got nothing but winning cards here, man. I can't lose. I'm not going to lose. He's got a lot of blue on that side. Uh, what are we going to do? There's his white. All right, so he's got the double white again. Uh, extra turns are good, but it looks like he just played... A, I mean, it looks like that's just draw a card. Play a land draw card. I, I will crack this now. I don't know why I'm doing it, because he's got another turn anyway. There's really no point in doing that, but <laughs> screw it. Screw it. He's got a lot of Awaken cards, a lot of ramp, a lot of... Uh, oh, I see. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, and that, and that with Awaken? No, he didn't have Awaken for that. Did he not have the Awaken? I mean, he must not have, otherwise he definitely would have done it, right? Isn't it like Awaken 4? Yeah. That's really nice. Um, ooh. Let's do the shittier one first, since I can play them both. And now you can deal with that. So he's definitely a control deck. I got you there, bro. Very controlly. Running through cards like nobody's business. He can stop eight of my damage so far. But I want to see how he deals with this first, before I put down anything else. Ah, uh, <laughs> suddenly it all makes sense. But, you know, it's it's just kind of weird. I mean, I'm not really... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. That's... Oh, man. I could... I can't take out his Planeswalker, though. So I'll just throw down my Stag. I can lose a few cards into the graveyard. That's okay. I'll take care of that, uh, that enchantment next turn. And that Obnixilis is definitely getting wabunkabunked. Wabunkabunked. So he pl What is his plus? Draw a card, lose a life? I'm not thrilled about that, because he's already got some pretty good card advantage on me. But I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, alright, so this is definitely some variation of a mill deck. Obviously have to swing in first, because I, I need, you know, I can't do anything until... Alright, alright, that's how he's gonna do this. So, minus three... We'll kill it. I wonder if he's gonna do it, though. You got the balls, bro? You know what I got the balls for? I can knock out everything you have. Right there, son. I guess I could also have hit the mirror and then knock Obnixilis tw uh, down two points. Yeah, might as well do that now. But uh, it's not a kill, and I just I don't want to do that anyway. Languish! Oh no, it's gone. Why? Poor Languish. I guess he didn't need it. I don't know. I would have kept the Languish unless he's got. All right, so he is running like nothing but board wipes. And mill, I suppose, which I just destroyed one of his mill engines, which is not good for him. Meaning I'm probably going to hang on to the other one because I feel like that's his only, like, way to win. <laughs> uh, Obnixilis did not kill this guy. That's dangerous. I mean, I'm sure he's going to crack that uh, uh, vial to stop the 6-7 from crashing in. But it's still a dangerous game to be playing that. Hmm. Should I keep the Angelic Edict? I think this is my last Angelic Edict. Because I know I have, like, two in here at least. And I have one, two... Alright, so, I, no, I have one more Angelic Edict. Um, I mean, obviously play this no matter what. And then I can just move into combat and he'll crack his little vial. Now, the option here I have is to save Angelic Edict for the inevitable two... Sphinx's two lidges that are coming. Or to kill... Oh, no, it's exile. Oh, I can't do it anyway. Never mind. Never mind. My bad, guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. 
Perilous Mirrorless dies. All right, so yeah. I was thinking exiling my Perilous Mirror, and then I could do two damage to Obnixilus, which keeps my 6-7 alive for a little longer. But that's not going to work because it's exile, so he'll just get exiled. I won't get the two damage, and, and he'll just kill my guy anyway. He just went up a card rather than killing my guy. Oh, there. That's why. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Royal Spat. Okay, that's fine. I understand you're playing exactly. You are milling the shit out of yourself, by the way, dude. I'm definitely keeping this Angelic Edict for that, uh, for that you-know-what that's coming, the Sphinx's Tutelage. I, I feel like he's been expecting that thing. I also am a little surprised, because he's got a lot of Awaken cards, and he has not been casting Awaken at all. And he's got it. He's got the mana for it. So what the hell is he doing? Like, I mean, he didn't have enough for both. I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like nothing is real. You know, he could win with this, too. Whenever a player draws a card, I lose two life. That wouldn't be the best. That's two life a turn. That'd take a while, though. He's got a few turns to have this on, and then it's got a bunch more turns for it to actually kick in. I don't know, man. I can't believe how well my deck is going. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm I'm not that surprised because it's entirely composed of overpowered cards that are just incredible. Now, see, right there, he could have awakened a land. Why didn't you do that? Like, that would have been, I mean, what's, what, what else do you have? Do you have another card? No, man, you still could have awakened that. How much more is this? Whoa. Yeah, you just drew cards. Dude. Dude. You could have done literally all this and have a 3-3 three, three in play right now. 4-4 four, four in play. It would have been a 4-4. Four, four. Dude. Dude. You have 15 cards left. <laughs> like. Like, you gotta be. Dude. You're gonna mill yourself. And you're down to 5 life. Man, I don't know, man. I, I don't... Ah. He's not playing this right. He's just not playing it right. Possessed Scab is a really good card. Everybody knows it. That card is sticking around. You're drawing more. You're getting more draw. Dude, you're driving nuts, man. I don't know what's happening in this world. I, I'm, 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 I'm blown away. Just totally blown away. All right, well, I could have done that for Sphinx's tutelage, but I don't want him to have a freaking Planeswalker. <laughs> that seems like the worst idea ever. Um, to swing in or not? I will swing in, because he has to block, and that means something has to die. I will be happy to end... Whoa, okay. Yeah, just in case, right? <laughs> you know... You gotta kill that 2-1. I mean, he, what, what could I have had? Alright, Jace is out. Because I don't want to deal with that garbage. And Perilous Mirror is out. Because 2 damage to your face sounds fantastic. <laughs> Especially when you're down to 4. And you have 12 cards in your library. Uh, I'm a little upset that... Dude, you are so late on that. I can't. Dude. what? what why are you drawing cards? Why are you drawing cards? <laughs> you have nine cards left. This isn't how that works. You're doing the opposite of mill. Does he have any more mill? Did he get rid of all his mill? Is that what happened? What is going on here? I saw one Sphinx's tutelage. He doesn't have any more. Does he only have one? He only has one. Unless he has a handful of them. And he's just planning to like dump them all down in one turn. And just obliterate me. He's got to have some kind of weird trick going on. He, he has to. He, he's doing something funny. I don't know what that funny thing is, but he's doing it. And it's very confusing. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh! I wonder... Oh! I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. He's going to hit me with a bunch of uh, Sign and Bloods. Wait, is Sign and Blood still a thing in this game? Is Sign and Blood a thing in this game? I think it is. I think Sign and Blood is... Uh, I know Read the Bones is. If he if he makes me draw a bunch of cards, I will lose the game, which is hilarious. 
Oh my god. Target player draws cards. Yes! Do it! Oh my god! Yes! Oh no! Yes! <laughs> That's it! That's it! <laughs> That's how to do it! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, look at this deck! Oh my god! This deck! <laughs> What a way to win! One tutelage! Oh my god, dude, you're awesome. <laughs> oh, I did not see that coming. If, if that was his main win condition, I fucking salute you, sir. You are amazing. <laughs> that was great. Oh, wow. All right. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe that happened. That was fantastic. <laughs> I got to I got to make that deck. That is a deck to make. I got to go into some tournaments with that deck. Just ultimate obnixilis make opponents draw. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what though? You know what was still wrong? He still misplayed a bunch of times. He still could have been playing those awakened costs. Because there were at least two times, I think, that he could have played. At least one, but I think at least two. I know that's a weird way to say it, but... I'm pretty sure he could have done more uh, Awaken, and he could have had, like, large lands. He was known, like, need for lands. He had plenty of them, so I don't know what the hell. He had... What else did he have? He had Jace, Gideon. He probably had a Liliana. Uh, Obnixilis. I didn't see a Liliana. Maybe, maybe he didn't run that. It could have been in his hand, but I don't know. Um... Those little scab guys. He should have been running acid moths too, just 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 to add stupidity to the whole thing. Wait, was he in green? I don't think he was actually in green. Never mind. Oh wow, what a, what a deck, man! I'm gonna I'm gonna really enjoy going through that one in uh, in post. Okay, well, it looks like I'm pausing the video because this is taking forever, and we're back. That didn't take long at all, actually. <laughs> Whatever. I was only like gone for like a second. Yeah, all right, all right, three seconds, whatever. So we got uh, elves, I guess. Green, blue elves, that'd be cool. I'm up for that. Oh, X surge, cross surge, crick crickers, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is this playable? Because obviously not. But uh, I don't know. Something about a divine favor on my perilous mirror. No, I can't keep this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is uh, more keepable somehow. This is like my same original play, but better. Uh, yep. And then I needed the black. I didn't need green. I didn't need white. So we're gonna we're gonna play Perilous Mirror followed into Divine Favor and eventually this Dreg Reaver, who will do maybe one thing in a day. I don't know what he will do. Hopefully we don't get too many lands. I am running 24. Ooh, double mirror. Nice. I'm going to miss you guys. You guys, as soon as you dropped in the original game, Battles, du uh, Duels Origins, I realized that you were, like, probably one of the best cards ever in this set, in this format. Perilous Mirror. Uh, definitely, definitely my favorite. Uh, you know what? I foiled this damn card. The replacement better be in foil, too, or else I'll be pissed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bitch someone out if they send me a non-foil version of this card. Because I paid for it. <laughs> I paid for it with my own stupidity. I know I could have wiped your board there, but that's not what I want. I want to be more aggro. I want to hit you for two, not just take, not prevent one. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do it, man. That's what I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, that's right. Now I got a two-four. Mmm, what are you gonna do about that? Oh, how can you survive this? Impossible, I say. Impossible! Now you're losing the race. Everything about you is dumb because I have the best cards and you have the worst cards. Mmm. April Fool's motherfucker. That's what I... Yeah. That, that's what my perilous mirror said to that uh, elvish visionary when it was going downtown. Put on a pair of shades and was like, Fuck you, bitch. Uh, I can replace both of those colors. He should have gotten my red-green. Yeah, my, my Gruel Gate was actually much more valuable than that. Oh well. No way for him to have known. Uh, I don't know. Holding back for blocks? Like, why? Just two damage. Who cares? So what's the deal? What's the deal with airline food? 
Uh, I don't know what to do here. Evolving Wilds or Gilgate? I'll just do Gilgate because whatever. <laughs> because whatever. I did lose a land, which is kind of poops. I mean, not the particular land I don't care about losing, but uh, a land is kind of a problem because that turns me off uh, on uh, next turn Dredge Reaver. And there's another one. Gee, I wonder what this idiot's playing. Yup. Yeah, there you go. Now you actually got the land that I have to worry about. Oh, boy. And you wonder why, why they're getting rid of Acid Moss, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, 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 that's right. Acid Moss. I mean, I guess I'll throw down my Gilgate and then Evolving Wilds. And hope I get something okay. Alright, this is actually not bad, because he's got to deal with his garbage. He's got to deal with his garbage now. <sighs> I'm wondering if I should have put that all on one one card, but I don't I don't like doing things like that. Wow, man, you really are terrified of damage, like for no reason at all. It's just not it's not you don't have to worry about two damage. I, I mean, I think I don't know. Like, don't you think I'd be running bigger things unless he just has like nothing but acid mosses in his hand? Oh yeah, all right, that's probably why <laughs> because he can just destroy it, and that is why I don't like to put them all on uh, on one guy. Uh, yeah, that's gone. I don't want you to have any cards <laughs> on the board. Board presence is bad for me, so get rid of your board presence. If he was at a lower life, that'd be going to his face. I'm a long way from Dredge Reaver. He has to not kill any more of my lands. Mm, at least we're not, we know he's not running... Uh, uh, <laughs> what the hell is that thing called? Oh no, you're taking two damage! Oh no, what are you going to do? Oh! Oh, it's awful. At least we know he's not running um, into the Maw of Hell. That red destroy land, 13 damage to a creature. This is one of those man lands, right? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Pay for four. Could, could he not have paid for that? I don't actually remember. It would have been a 3-3 three, three anyway. I don't know. He could have. If he wanted to. There you go. Look, that's how you do Awaken. That's right. Awaken. It's crazy. Um, I wish I could Angelic Edict, which I can. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Definitely getting... Red is only for Foundry Street Denizen, so actually I'd rather grab a black, which is ironic, because if he does destroy one of my black sources, at least I'll have another one, which makes just makes me feel better. <laughs> like, a lot better. The other option is Drag Reaver, which isn't the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, which, actually, I might play. Huh. I might play Drag Reaver. Or do I want to... I mean, look, first thing, I gotta swing in. Yeah, I'm gonna play Drag Reaver. Screw that. Screw this guy. <sighs> yeah, block that two damage, bro. You know, you could be swinging back in. I just, whatever. Whatever. I don't, I don't like the way this guy's playing. I think he's he's not playing aggressively enough. He's thrown his creatures away for for cheap damage. I can understand if he if he thinks if he has like a lot more uh, land destruction, and then he doesn't think I can ever get high enough to to cast large threats. So then he only deals with the small threats and just assumes that I can't cast the bigger ones. But that's not the case here, man. He's just dicking around. He just dicking. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd do. Uh, keep that 4-4 back, which is not going to happen. Uh, do I trade with the Hexproof? Sure. Let's do it. Let's trade. He, he, I know he's going to trade. Yeah, of course he does. He's terrified of taking damage. Unfortunately, I do have like two lands in hand, which is super poopies. But I think I'm at the point where land destruction doesn't matter anymore. So, And he did use it twice, I think? Did he use two Acid Mosses? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he's got all the lands he ever needs. Oh, great. Now we're just going to bounce off each other. So, I guess I don't swing in here. Unless he thinks I have a combat trick. Huh. Do you th nah, he doesn't think it. Nah, he, he will block no matter what. Because even if I had a combat trick, he wouldn't give a shit. He would just block anyway. There would be no point. Just no point at all. Telling Time, that's one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards that does that sort of a thing. Uh, of course, he could have done that 
uh, instant speed, but I don't know if he had enough land last turn, or at the end of my turn, whatever. Maybe he just picked it up. Oh no, a Kiora! That's a game winner. That'll finish me off big time. I mean, it won't finish me off because I have, you know, the most OP deck in the world, like all the cheese. You know, you could have swung in. I don't have. It's. Well, I don't know. I don't know. If he's scared of me having combat tricks, then I guess he couldn't, but. He, he definitely prefers the blocks, yeah. Oh, jeez, and of course I'm just picking up garbage. <laughs> uh, there, there's really no point in swinging in. There just isn't. I just, I mean, I know he'll block, and then next turn he won't attack. It's pointless. He'll, he'll take out the red-white, because that's the only red source I have, Yeah, that he knows of. Obviously, I have a mountain in hand. He didn't know that. Uh, this is going to be bad. Actually, no, yeah, I shouldn't attack because then he'll swing in and then can untap it with uh, this. Uh, I definitely lose this game. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how this happened, you guys. I don't know how this amazing deck is, is getting destroyed. Very upsetting. I'm getting salty about it. I'll tell you that. Counterspells too? Holy shit, dude. That's not a counterspell. Yes, it is. What am I thinking? I thought it was that uh, draw spell, the uh, artificers, whatever the hell. But that's definitely not what it is. Oh, I definitely lose this. I have been up against some. I'm gonna call them interesting decks. Not. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. So he digs through. He has some okay value creatures. Land destruction. A few counters. I don't know. It's just kind of some random things. It's not really that. Yeah. And then he's got a cure thrown in here. He's just got like okay simic colors. That's really it. Like all these cards on their own are all right. It's not the best though. Oh right, hexproof. That's a poop. And now I just showed him that I had that. <laughs> what? Like, what? I'm not even sure what to do about that. I definitely lose in two turns, though. Uh, once Kiora pops, that's it for me. I needed a wider... Oh, that, that definitely. That's it, man. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to concede. I don't want to waste everybody's time. It, it, trust me, it's a loss. There's no way out of that. I have absolutely no outs. Uh, my next draw was was going to be... Oh, no, I don't know what the hell my next draw was going to be. But there was there was nothing... You saw what's in my deck. It's garbage, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, it's April Fool's, guys. It's, it's not actually garbage. I'm just... that That's the joke. Okay, we're going to pause while we uh, find a game. Wow, that took about ten minutes. Jesus. Okay, we got... Uh, I don't know. It looks like Sisse from the Weatherlight. <laughs> I have no idea who this is supposed to be. A planeswalker, that that I am aware. Same basic blue background that someone else I got. Uh, Cass is cool. All right, Cass, uh, you are cool. I I am. I will be the first to admit that you are a pretty cool girl, Cass. Evolving Wilds for Foundry Street. Yeah, I got all my colors. This is fine. Of course, I'm missing uh, Acid Moss colors, but I do have green. Green is like my main. Mm, I got more green than anything else. <laughs> I, well, actually, that's not true. I got green and white. So green and white uh, I can probably pick up later. That way I can get my Acid Moss online. So I'm thinking... Oh, boy, this is actually kind of awkward. Um, Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go with what I thought was a good idea originally. Um, I'm not actually sure if this is a good idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea if this is a good idea. Hey, there's my green. Okay, good. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Everything worked out okay. So I got all my... My entire hand is playable. Everything's all set. We're good. We are golden today. Next turn will either be Divine Favor or Perilous Mirror. Uh, Perilous Mirror is a little bit more aggressive. Because I get more creatures on the board. That's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, it gives me more options, more more targets for Divine Favor later, seeing what uh, survives. He does play black. Okay, keep that in mind. Keeping that in mind. 
Uh, playing Perilous Mirror pre-combat to give my Foundry Street Denizen plus one plus O. Oh. Uh, no, never mind. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that because that's not a red creature. Holy shit. <laughs> I got it. I mean, you, you guys from the future will never have to deal with this. A red creature enters the battlefield whenever a red creature. Okay. Okay. I have only ever played this in red goblin decks. And that has never, never once been an issue for me. <laughs> oh well. Okay, uh, looks like next turn is going to be Acid Moss, because fuck this bitch, that's why. Uh, if he puts down his Swamp, I'm definitely taking out that Swamp, because that's what he tutored for. Uh, yeah, that, that Swamp is going. It also puts him a little further away from uh, Languish. It's like, it's just all around a better play, I think. In my humble opinion. Yeah, we're definitely... Uh... First, actually, we're going to swing in with a Perilous Mirror. See if he wants to do anything with that. He could be silly. I don't know. He could just block with the O2, which is the correct move. That is the correct move. He's a smart person. Okay, so you got that. Uh, next up, definitely the Acid Moss. That is not what I want. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Come on, man. Where, where are you at? There you are. That's what I want. Boosh! That's gone. Grab a forest. Put that in play. Pass turn. Next turn, I can play out my entire hand. Which I probably will. Wow, Foundry Street Denizen is just a 1-1, unless I have another Foundry Street Denizen. <laughs> what a bad... What a bad everything. Um... Probably act. Gosh, I don't know. I'm probably putting Divine Favor on the Elite Vanguard because that's the only like non one one that I have. Another Strider Elf, damn. Also a three three. What a shame. What a shamu. Uh, playing all this pre combat because I'm just not swinging in. I know he's gonna block with the O two. So there's really no point in any of this. I do have Divine Favors coming up. Uh, I've got... I don't think I have any Flyers. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, if I get more Divine Favor... No, not Divine Favor. Um, Angelic Edict. I can Edict those three threes. Uh, Divine Favor puts him back uh, one attack. Uh, definitely divine, divining favoring one of these, uh, I, I, I just said that, the little two ones. To make them, what, three fours? That sounds really good to me. Three fours for three, not bad. It does cost two cards, though, which is kind of poops. The guy is watching damage effects. Hmm. Definitely crashing in now. Definitely. Gotta do that. You know, my other option is... Huh. Do I have other options? I might have other options. I could just put this on the Street Denizen and then just crash in for a little bit more. Just to make him more relevant. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Huh, that was weird. I, I was thinking about doing a 3-4, but I'm, I'm kind of going much wider than he is. So I think this is the better move. Crashing in. What do I grab with this gate creeper? Obviously a gate. Probably, uh, oh, I know. Black, black red, maybe. I'll get the black red gate. The Rakdos gate. Okay, he is throwing away the, uh, the O2 for that. That's interesting. Didn't expect him to do that. Really didn't. Uh, another divine favor would be great. A, an angelic edict would be great. What else do we have that might be good? Counter? Okay. Oh, no, telling time. Whatever. You want to counter a gate creeper? I'm like, okay. I have like seven sixes in this deck or something. <laughs> you go ahead, bro. <clears throat> uh, this looks like just another Simic good stuff. What did I say? Black red? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I know, I know you're in here. Unless I already played you. Did I play you? Do I not have black red? Oh, I don't. I don't think I do have a black red. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, um, I do want black. Black green or black white? Uh, let's just get black white, I guess. I don't know. I, I I wasn't sure. 
Let's just play it out too because he knows I have it. <clears throat> uh, if I do get a Foundry Street Genizen, that the the one on the board will be a three four. I'm assuming he swings all in. Not sure if he has another play uh, for creatures. He probably does. Five mana, five cards in hand. Yeah, he's definitely got another creature. Six. What's that put me to? Eight. All right. What you got for me? Rising Miasma is probably the best goddamn card you have for me. Uh, well, good news. I can wipe his board. So that's not too bad. And believe it or not, my fucking Foundry Street Denizen is the MVP of the day. <laughs> Which is so wonky. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Jagged Scar Archers. Uh, uh, Stainless said that they're going to be removing this card because uh, it's a little too powerful against Flyers. It it um, In the Elf deck that it almost always goes in, it just destroys literally all Flyers. I don't think I have a problem with that. It's not like, uh, I mean, whatever, whatever. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see the big deal, <laughs> frankly. A five-seven is something that I'm, I will not be able to get through unless I get an angelic edict off the top, which would be super cool. That is not an angelic edict. Uh, what do I want to pop? What, do, what do you have? All right, you've got green, green. All right, so I'm not getting green. Definitely not getting green. That's a red. Uh, looks like this is your only. No, it isn't. All right. Well, I am getting rid of his black sources, so let's let's just do that. Yep. Get a, get another land. Um. Yeah, man. He's just drawn, drawn up the wing wongs. I wonder if I can mill him out with that. <laughs> Probably not. <clears throat> That's an interesting card to have, uh, unless he's playing landfall, maybe. That's more of an aggressive against landfall card. Whenever it comes into play under my control, I exile, I, I mill, and you draw two. But, like, you can't control this. This is just up to them. And by turn six, it almost doesn't really matter. I mean, unless this is a mill pile or a landfall pile. Like, if there are ways to pick up lands and shit, like, that doesn't really do anything for you. Uh, okay, yeah, definitely. Um... Alright, alright, I'll chomp. You win. I don't want to go to three. You got it. Guys, I think this deck is going 0 for 3, which is really, really surprising to me. I, I can't believe that that would happen. Actually, I didn't need to give him extra, an extra two cards, but, but whatever. Whatever. Force of habit. Don't care. Uh, there's really no reason for me to have played that. The mill effect does absolutely nothing for me. The uh, Guardian Tazim is a problem, so I just lose here, I think. I need to... Uh, what can I pick up? I don't think I can pick up anything, actually. Uh, an Angelic Edict to get rid of the Tazim, then Chump Block the 5-7, then... die. <laughs> and just die. That doesn't even do it. Alright, there you go, bro. Get your two cards. Totally lose. GG, alright. Well, I guess that'll do it, guys. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe today we learned some kind of valuable lesson. I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these cards are incredibly overpowered and, and will win you every game. It's just I'm not really good at magic. That's probably what this is. And, um, like, I know that every one of these cards, I, I, I hope we all say goodbye. I hope we love them. I hope they're always going to stay in our hearts and that uh, we'll always, always be surprised when a Mulvani Acid Moss comes out and rapes our mothers. Goodbye, guys. Love you all.